chapter 5, you begin to see his sovereign power and rule, and you start to recognize that he's transcendent, he's great, and he's good at the same time. Father, I thank you that you're our Father, and that you, you reign over the whole situation on this planet, our economy, and our leadership, and Lord, our local church, and our family, and all of this hour, and you keep thinking in terms of a plural possessive hour. You see his sovereign power and rule, and you begin to praise and worship him because his name reveals his character or his nature. I, I don't have time to, to go through a long list of the multiple compound names of God, but he reveals himself all over the Old Covenant. One of the very first ones is in Genesis 22 when Abraham takes Isaac to the mountain, and he's going to have to sacrifice his own son, and God is waiting to see if Abraham loved the promise of God more than he loved the God of the promise. And he raises the knife to sacrifice his son. And in that moment, the angel of the Lord stays his hand, and he looks around, and there's a ram caught in the bush. And God reveals himself to Abraham as Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who sees and provides. And without telling you the story of every one of these, because there's a good 20 of them, Jehovah Nisi is the Lord our banner. Jehovah Roe is the Lord my shepherd, Psalm 23. Jehovah Sidkenu is the Lord our righteousness. Jehovah Shalom is the Lord our peace. And it goes, Jehovah Makadesh is the Lord our sanctifier, the Lord our holiness. And it goes on and on and on and on. And the fact that I want to tell you that you don't have to know all those names to pray through them, but if you know a little bit about that, I want you to know that there's one name that sums up all those names, and that's the name of Jesus, the name that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. He is our healer. He's our peace. He's our provider. He, he is our holiness. He's our sanctifier. He's our shepherd. He's our guide. Come on, somebody. And when you can stop and you say, holy is your name, Jesus, I thank you that you're my provider. Jesus, I thank you that you're my source, you're my comfort, you're my peace, you're my guide. Jesus, I thank you. And just put in the blank, fill it in, and just begin to call him all that he is. Because that's what you're doing when you're saying, holy is your name, Lord. Our Father, which art in heaven, you're sovereign, you rule over all this stuff. And, and holy is your name. The name of Jesus is higher than 